Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the pump and dump that we have seen here on Bitcoin, some of the reasonings for the move and uh, how I am currently trading this right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and uh, let's begin, before we go over what's happening now, the, the rise and dump that we saw last night, okay? Um, so in, in my opinion, there was a few reasons for the rise, okay? Firstly, uh, currently like we're still doing now, we held weekly support, okay? So 8,750, no close below. Okay, so on top of that, okay, on top of that, what we also had was this ascending triangle going on. Okay, also the fact that there were many people that open shorts. Okay, this is what I call FOMO shorts. So people that get a drop and then they start opening shorts after a drop, which is never a sensible idea. So you got a you got a crowd of people either waiting for lower prices. You also got a crowd of people entering shorts. Uh, in the ascending triangle holding the weekly and, and that's just primed for a short squeeze which is exactly what we got here uh, you know with that straight move up you got a lot of liquidations going on just a, a straight move to the upside okay I was actually long inside of the triangle closed out my long and uh, then we were left within this little range if we come down to the five minute I'll go through this one with you uh, what we had was a obviously the high upper high of the upper wick which was onto monthly and weekly open okay with a drop set back down okay and then we went into a consolidation period for a good few hours okay so a few hours within this consolidation period have a guess what happened <laughs> breaking up outside of the con consolidation to the 618 how many times have we seen this play off so perfectly uh so there we hit the 618 got a little reaction got another little reaction and, and ultimately coming down losing 9250 and straight back down to the weekly uh so i was actually on uh champions live stream last night so i do like live trading every week and uh yeah managed to catch this in the group yesterday uh where i was out of my long <laughs> out of the long going to enter a short i entered the short and uh this is the account where i do live trading okay so this is the one where if you're interested in watching me doing live trading every week then come along uh chart champions and uh yeah this is the account that i do it on obviously waking up this morning to pretty healthy profits that's about 600 dollars more or less so not bad for a night <laughs> um so that's pretty nice and uh that was all taken because of the yeah literally the 618 there seeing the consolidation hold i know how these sort of ranges play out you like, like to hit the 618 and when you literally hit it so perfectly get a second reaction you know you've got to be you've got to be at least taking profits on longs myself i was taking profits on longs and uh entering a short so you <laughs> Can't really get much better than that, than that one, if we're honest. Um, but yeah, that, that was why I took that short position yesterday. Was the alert in the group? And now what we leave, what we leave with, what we are left with this morning, okay, is you know a little bit of a difficult situation because what I like to say, what I like to say here is really come out to the four hour chart. Okay, so we're on the on the four hour chart, what we can clearly see is, you know coming down coming down coming down holding weekly holding weekly holding weekly a rise back up but ultimately it's a lower high okay to really be bullish you want to take 9250 until until we close above 9250 um let's just say it's, it's not bullish okay you want to get above 9250 that would be very very nice indeed to uh to get expansion to the upside but ultimately right now uh, it has just been a lower high, but very importantly, we are holding 8,750. So likewise, it's not really bullish until we get above 9,250. We are not really bearish until we close below 8,750. 13 minutes left on this four hour close. I'll be, you know, I'm going to be around for the next 30 minutes. I'll, I'll be trading this for the next 30 minutes uh, when I get off this video. So, um, you know, that, that's what I'm looking at. This four hour close, 8,750, 9,250. Those for me are the most two important levels on the chart. Uh, and then ultimately, it's more of a case of I'll be less aggressive trading Bitcoin and I'm going to be trading altcoins heavily today. So I'll be trading altcoins. <laughs> That's going to be my day today. Um, so I'm thoroughly looking forward to that. I love trading them. Um, so if you are, yeah, that, basically that, that's what I wanted to give in this update. I'll be keeping my eye on the monthly, the weekly, looking for closes above or below to trade Bitcoin. But ultimately, I'll be trading altcoins throughout the day today. If you are interested in getting these updates that I give to the Champions Group, where along with that, I'll be giving the altcoins that I will be trading today, um, then feel free to come and join us over at chartchampions.com. I mean, <laughs> what's not to love about it literally getting getting paid with me along with uh learning i mean that's like a dream though <laughs> um so yeah that, that's obviously pretty nice indeed um so i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this one
And I will catch you in the next technical analysis. Just a bit of a quicker update to today, just because the levels are really, really clearly defined. I don't need to go on for, what is this, four minute video, but I think I've covered everything that I need to cover. Literally the weekly, 8750, the monthly, 9250, a little range in between, ascending triangle, breaking up. Oh yeah, I mentioned the futures gap. Okay, so we did break up with the futures gap last night. Okay, so this is the last thing I'll end with. We obviously had this futures gap breaking up. <laughs> you know, this is Bitcoin and for some reason it just loves to fill these gaps. Uh, so we did get another gap fill. Okay, so we obviously rose up overnight, got that CME futures gap and there's the gap filled uh, by the next morning. So <laughs> um, yeah, th there's a perfect gap fill on the CME futures for you. Uh, so that, that was now filled. So there's no need to worry about this anymore. Um, so I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this one and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.